I am at Stoller Family Vineyard today, and I'm with Jason, who you're actually the wine grower here, which is, I love that title, it's great. <laughs> yeah. And so what do we do this time of year? It's like, I see there's no fruit left, there's really no leaves left, and it's like, what's going on in the vineyards these days? Actually, right now, nothing is going on <laughs> in the vineyard. We're going through and, and finishing up some replants and some blocks that we've uh, planted earlier this year, but right now we're waiting. We're waiting for these frost events and cooler temperatures to set in and have the, our vines be fully dormant before we'd go out and make pruning cuts on them. And really, as a homeowner, my grapevines, I do the same thing. I have to wait for those frosts. Yeah, usually we end up seeing those frosts come through in November, early December, and then we can start at last half of December, January, March, through March. Those are about, the, those are the times we will be uh, pruning on our grapevines. And it's really important to leave some of this on because you want, the, like you said, the carbohydrates going back into the plant so we have a great success next year. So, yeah, the plant has built up carbohydrates with its leaves all summer. And, you know, it senesces and pushes those carbohydrates back down into the root system, preparing for the next spring. So coming in and cutting those canes off before those carbohydrates can get back down could actually keep your vine from performing as well as you want to the next year. And so if we are going in, so say we've had the frost, so we're going to go back in and we're going to take off most 95% of this. Yeah, you can really cut into a grapevine. In Oregon, what we do, we'll cut most of everything off that you see here. This is a vertical to shoot positioned uh, trained vine. Um, we are cane prune, meaning we take just, we save two canes at the base of the vine or at the head of the vine that we will save for next year. We'll lay those and tie them to the wire. And from that, we will have the new shoots for the year arrive and that will bear the fruit for the current year. So it's it's one year wood that the fruit arrives on. So it's time to drink wine, which yeah. is wonderful because <laughs> right. there's nothing you could do out in your little vineyard there. So we're gonna go into the tasting room and talk to Melissa, who is the winemaker. Thanks so much. Thank you. Well, now I am in the beautiful wine tasting room with Melissa. Melissa, you are the director of winemaking and they're so delicious. So tell us a little bit about the wines that are here on this table. Sure, there's two Pinots and two Chardonnays. That's our main focus here, those two varietals. And they're diverse in their offerings. We have an unoaked Chardonnay and a barrel fermented Chardonnay. And then our Pinot Noir is our mosaic Pinot, come from the whole estate. And oh. then a reserve, which is blended from some of the oldest vines on the property. Oh, nice. And then I see you have something called History, and I'm almost as old as one of these. So <laughs> what is that all about? Well, History is a wine brand. It's, uh, it's focusing on the small, uh, small amounts of wine grapes from some of the oldest vineyards in the Northwest. Amazing. So it's a really interesting collection, working with these sites and these pioneering people and making wines from other areas. A lot of these wines are from Washington and parts of Oregon as well. Now this History Wine is really a unique partnership, so tell us about that. Sure, yeah, it's a partnership between myself and Bill Stoller. I started the project in 2013 and then we partnered shortly after that and it's offered, we do tastings here at the winery and you can find information off our website. If you go to Stoller Family Estate, there's a link to the History Wines as well. Uh, and so much to wonder about, but also to come taste because the Thanksgiving holiday weekend is really a big event up here. It's huge and it's a lot of fun. So we have Friday through Sunday, we've got events set up all day long to come taste wines, of course, but also there's food available for purchase and there's a holiday market. So there's purveyors here selling gifts, a lot of artisans and really neat things. So come shop and eat and drink and it's a lot of fun. Yeah, well, I think shopping at a mall would be not as much fun as coming no. out to Stoller Family Estate to come for all the wine tasting and really get your shopping started for that holiday season. So go to gardentime.tv, we'll click over their website and you can find out all that information. Well, thanks so much and have a great year. Thank you. Thank you.